What's going on YouTube? It's D Night here coming at another video, man. I got a crazy ass story to tell you guys, man. This story will have a lot of you guys laughing, a lot of you guys probably trying to give me advice and stuff like that. But this story is about this girl I went on my first date with, bro. This is a couple weeks ago. I say like two weeks ago. I uh, went on a date with this Indian girl, we went to the movies, and things went kind of wild. But anyway, if you guys do find yourself enjoying this video, please do leave a thumbs up under this video. Subscribe to the channel, support the channel, help you trying to grow, guys. Share the video right away if you're entertaining. And yeah, man, let's get into it. Alright, man. First off, I want to say, I met this girl on POL, Plenty of Fish. A lot of you guys are familiar with the website, dating site like this, a free dating site. But let me say, free dating site. And you know, it got little purchases here to get messages to see have they read them. Uh, you can you can freaking do something and see your mutual matches and stuff like that. That's kind of crazy. You got to pay for that when they say it's free. But yeah, man, I met her on POL. We messaged for a couple of days, you know, on POL. Uh, she didn't message back as quick as other girls often do. You know, she messaged me back like a couple of hours later or a day later and stuff like that. So I was kind of like... Okay, she might not want to talk to me, but I kept going with it, going with it. We got to talking a little bit, and I asked her for her Facebook or something like that. Then she gave me her Facebook. And all right, guys, before I continue, I want to say she's a decent looking girl. She got like a little muffin top, you know. She got like one of them. She pretty short, you know. She's a short girl. I see she's like five two, and I'm like six foot, you know. So I'm sitting over there like, damn, she kind of short. She kind of short for my taste. I like girls who five five or above. Five five between five five and six foot. Eye level, you know, I don't mind a girl eye level with me, you know, looking her dead in the eye, tell her how I feel, drink her down, wine her down, her boy, you know. All right, man, enough talking crazy. All right, she's like kind of short, chubby a little bit, uh, got a little muffin top, cute face. She got a cute ass face, though. Indian girl, and when I mean her voice is crazy, like she got a weird ass voice. You think when you say Indian girl, she got her like an Indian accent, like an Indian talk, something like that. She talked like, told like one of them totally white girls. Like, honestly, she talked like one of them white girls. And white girls, they can't, they can't shut the hell up. One of them white girls who annoy you just by talking a lot. Like, she don't shut the hell up, you know? And guys, she talked just like this. Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's funny. Yeah, we could definitely go out there and do that. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Yeah, 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 okay, yeah. That's so funny. I'm looking like, what, what, what? Where the hell this come from? I'm expecting her to talk like a damn Indian girl. Oh. Um, I don't know what to say. When I first FaceTime her, guys, it was on uh, Facebook, Facebook FaceTime. I FaceTimed her, right? She started talking. I'm like, whoa, where this come from? I thought she gonna have an Indian accent, but she started to sound like a totally white girl. And it caught me by surprise. And at first, I was like, damn, she one of these girls, bro. Her accent annoying as hell. She had like a little Southern slang, cause I live in Mississippi, you know? She had like a Southern talk with it, but it was proper as hell. It's like. Totally white girl, you guys know what I'm trying to say, man. Like, the bitch wouldn't shut the fuck up, son. She wouldn't shut up. She wouldn't even let me get a word in. Like, I'm trying to talk. I'm over here stuttering over myself like this. Ah, ah, yeah, what? Ah, yeah, let me, ah, like, it's just like every time I try to get a word in, she speaks. Like, come on, dude. And she kept saying, yeah, yeah, hook, yeah, totally, yeah. And it seemed like she was a robot, you know? Like I was speaking to an Android or something. You know how them answer machines be? And they had that woman talking so, like a robot, you know? It just felt weird. It didn't feel right at all. Like, it felt like she was kind of like a robot or something, you know? It was just crazy. Like, she was programmed to talk to me and stuff like that. It just didn't feel real. And, all right, let's fast forward. All right. We started to make plans. She talking about the first time she started to talk about coming to my house and stuff like that. That was like three days after we got Facebook friends. She started liking all my posts, liking my pictures and stuff like that. She talked calling me cute and skinny. She's like, oh my guy's so skinny. And I wanted to say, oh my guy so fat, muffin top bitch. <laughs> I didn't really say all that though, but the muffin top bitch over here was calling me skinny and stuff. And she was talking noise about me, talking about ain't about that life. She was talking sexually, all kinds of things, talking about ain't about that life. I'm not going to be down with that. She want to go to my room and stuff. And I'm thinking to myself, like, why is this girl so obsessed with going to my room? W what's in my room? I said, I got a video game in my room. I got a TV. Nothing special but a bed. You know, you must try to get it in for the first night. And I'm not about that life. I'm not the guy who will have sex with a girl on the first date. I'm not the type of guy that would have sex with a girl in the first week. I'm not the guy that would have sex with a girl in the first month. Like, I don't know what the hell was she thinking, bro. Like, what, what was going through her mind? Like, what was going through her mind, G? This is crazy, you know? Just to have a girl you just met. Like, she called herself a Christian girl. She called herself a diehard Christian, but yet she was talking sexually. Christians, what the hell? All right, 
This girl was cute in the face, but the body was sloppy, you know. So I'm like, okay, I got a little cutie here, a cute face, short girl, uh, muffin top body. She need a little workout. Like she get in shape, she gonna be a, she gonna be a up there, you know. I'm not gonna say she's gonna be a dime piece. She's gonna be like a seven or eight, you know, cute face. Pick her ass up. Chick, chicken position her ass, you know. And guys, we started talk. She said she wanna come back to my room and stuff like that. We go to your room and stuff. Yeah, yeah, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, go back to my room and stuff. And I'm like, what's in my room? Why you wanna come back to my room so bad? Then she's talking about some, haha, you're so funny. I'm like, bitch, I'm asking you a question. Every time I ask her a question she don't wanna answer, she hit me with a damn reply. Ha, you so funny. Ha, you silly. Like, bitch, what? What? Answer my question. And I kept asking her the same question over and over again. She kept saying, ah, you're so funny. And I kept saying, that's not an answer, you know? That's not the answer I want to ask for. I'm asking you a question. I want to reply. That's not, ha, you're so funny. Ha, you're silly. Nigga, what? 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 Robot mechanical bitch. God damn it. God dang it. But, <clears throat> God, it's just crazy to think about it, man. All right. Let me go ahead and fast forward from there. All right. Date night. I thought she wasn't even going to mention me back. I texted her good morning. She ain't mention me that whole day. She ain't mention me that whole day. Did she like my post on Facebook? I like my post on Facebook. She didn't say nothing to me. Leading into date day, the date day. You know, th th that was before we uh going on a date. I thought she canceled it because I ain't hear from her in a day. She, I messaged her in the morning. She never answered me. She never replied back. Next thing you know, carried over to the next day. I messaged her good morning. She messaged back. And I messaged her back saying, ha ha, yeah, that sounds good. She said she was going to get something to eat. And I said, what she going to eat? She never replied back. Leading on to that night, I made a post on Facebook and say, damn, man, like, uh, what did I say? I said something about being getting stood up, you know, uh, what did I say? I don't know what I said, but I said something, man, that made her call me talking about, oh, well, God, I'm so sorry. Like, I'm not looking like a bad person and stuff like that. And I'm like, you know, it's all right. You won't have to go on a date tonight. You won't have to talk no more and stuff like that. And she said, nah, she want to go see Get Out. We see, we seen the movie Get Out. We went to go see Get Out. Uh, seen the movie. It was a great movie. I enjoyed it. But it wasn't as good as people were hyping up to be. I thought the movie was going to be freaking spent, spent, spent. Why well, I can't make up the word. I thought the movie was going to be fantastic. I thought the movie was going to be A1 Thick Sauce. Great A Thick Sauce. God damn. I thought the movie was going to be so amazing that it would make me want to see it a second time. But after seeing Get Out for the first time, I'm like... Okay, I, 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 get, I get where they're going. I get where they're going. It's not a, a much of a great movie they claim it to be, but it's decent. I like it. Give it an A. Not A plus, but an A. Fast forward from there. She said, yeah, we can go out tonight. Uh, next movie uh, premiere, next movie starts 8 o'clock. You know, 8 o'clock. That's the next one to just pop off, you know. Start again. All right. I'm over here rushing to get dressed. Just, I'm just going to let you guys know. It's 645. And she talking about going to Pearl. I live in North Jackson. Pearl is like 20 minutes away. So I was going to be late. Uh, I told her, oh, damn, man, I got to rush, hop in the shower, bathe myself fast as hell, wash my hair. You know, I got to make sure I'm smelling good. I thought I'm going to meet somebody who's going to be dressing professionally, dressing nice, looking good, smelling good, ready to take this seriously. And guys, I got a shower, put my clothes on, started looking nice, put on my best outfit, looking good. You know, I had the blue black pants on with the blue Adidas, looking fresh, looking nice, man, looking like an athlete, balling six feet. All right, I got in my car. Uh, check my GPS, see how far it's gonna be on my phone, you Siri. And I started driving, driving on my way there, speeding down the highway, freaking zooming in but out between traffic because I know I was gonna be late. I arrived at the movie theater, right? <laughs> Woo! I arrived at the movie theater, right? Pulled up in the parking lot, I called her. Say, where you at? And she's talking about she parked in the back. So I'm like, okay, the back. It was like a police car in the back, and it was a bunch of cars right there, right? Um, she said she's standing up. I'm literally on my phone looking around like this. Where you at? I, I, shoot, I don't see you. Where you at? Where you at? And she literally saying she's standing up. She said she's standing up. She's standing up, but I couldn't see her. The next thing you know, a couple of seconds later, I thought I was walking. She said, oh, I see you. And I'm looking around some more. Like, where the hell is she at? Then next thing I know, I seen her short ass come from behind a car. I'm like, damn, she's short. Gee, I get to put my foot on her head. You know, who motherfucker use her as a stepping stuff. A nigga stuff going up. Moving on up on her ass, boy. <laughs> All right, we started talking. I gave her a hug. You know, you know, you got to greet a woman with a hug. You can't shake a woman's hand. I'll hug her tight, you know, and dog her out when she stopped playing. Worry a little boosy, you know? But, <clears throat> but, 
we walked into the movies. Uh, I paid for it, $19. I gave, paid two tickets to see the movie, $19. I'm like, damn, man, I'm spending some bread, you know? And she walked to the damn place talking about me getting some popcorn and snacks. This girl literally had the audacity to order a large popcorn. I told her I don't want any popcorn. She ordered herself a large popcorn and a medium soda. So I'm like, damn, bro, she ran me on like $15 off that shit, son. And I'm like, okay, I pay for it. Let's fight that damn uh, Capital One card. Looking like a big baller, paying for her stuff. She grabbed a popcorn, looking all crazy and stuff, looking all happy, like she was giggly, ready to get into the movies. You know she was playing me. All right, we started to walk to the uh, to the uh, movie thing, you know. And the movie started to play. Uh, we came in right on time. They were going through like the previews and stuff of, of movies that were coming out or already out already. You know how when, before the movie started, they had like a previews of other movies and stuff like that, advertising other movies. Yeah, you guys know. All right, the movie starts. I'm over here chilling. I see other dudes with their girlfriend cuddled up under her under them and stuff, and she's sitting over there smashing the popcorn. I swear to God, right now she ate damn near half of the popcorn box, and it was a large before the movie even started, bro. She was sitting over there smashing, bro. She was getting her grub, on, her fat ass over there. Pick up a soda, drink that bitch, put it back down. She going to town. She didn't even get that bitch a break. She didn't even get the the, the popcorn a break. So I'm looking over her like. Like that ass, I'm looking at her like this, bro. Out of the corner of my eyes, I'm literally like this. I'm like, damn, she's smashing, bro. <laughs> I don't have a second thoughts. Then she's gonna talk about something. I love Coke, you love Coke? I'm like, nah, I'm not much of a soda guy. If I drink soda, it's a Sprite, you know? I drink juice, Powerade, stuff like that. Then she's talking about she wants some popcorn. I'm like, nah, I'm good, you know? You can, you can, you can enjoy yourself, knock yourself out, smash it, you know? And me. Honestly, I don't have a problem with women eating. I don't have a problem at all. I love a woman who can eat. I love it. I love a woman who can eat. But this girl used me. So, I'm about to flame my ass in this video. Alright, the movie starts. The muffin top bitch almost finished with the damn popcorn. And she's smashing her soda at the same time. I'm sitting there chilling watching a movie. And they talked about some uh, black guys and white girls and stuff like that. You guys already know how the movie is. I'm not going to spoil it. I'm not going to say anything about the movie. I'm, I'm talking about the date. Alright. Then we started to talk, we started chilling in the movie. I put my arms around her fat ass, you know, it took me a, like, I fucking had to stretch my arm, god damn it, I had to flex that bitch out around her big ass, you know? And I'm sitting there chilling, you know, she was still sitting there smashing that popcorn looking like a damn chipmunk, you know? Alright, sitting over there, muffin top bitch laid back on my arm, my left arm, right? She was on my left side. I, I, I dislocated my shoulder a couple weeks ago. This muffin top bitch laid her big back ass on my arm, bro. Like, goodness damn, son. I got my arm hurting, G. So I had to move my arm back over. All right, man. She's sitting over there still smashing the popcorn, watching the movie. And she started to talk a lot. Like, she started to talk through the movie. And I swear right now, woman in front of us said, shut up, bitch. And I'm like, who the hell is she talking to, you know? Then, next thing you know, she started to talk again. And the woman in front of me like, damn, did this girl ever shut up? So I'm like, okay, she talking about her. So I told her to chill out a little bit, calm down. Then she said, okay, I'm sorry. All right, then we started to watch the movie. The movie was going, enjoying it. It was quiet, uh, cool. I was chilling, laid back with my feet up, bad bitch, D cups. But I was just laying back, chilling, you know? Uh, watching the movie, chilling, just enjoying the movie. It was a good movie. And movie got over where we started talking and she started talking about some white girls and this, this, and that. Talking about good things. She not white. She Indian. And black dudes with their white girlfriend. Dude said, uh, you're the last white girl I'm going to talk to. And the girl talking about some, uh, you got me pregnant so you don't have to worry about this. Stuff like that. And it's a little side jokes going on. Alright, we got out the movie theater. She went to the restroom. I went to the restroom. We got out. Went out the door, we're talking about the movie, she said she enjoyed it, you know, she kept talking about the movie, saying she liked it, she kept talking about the movie over and over again, keep saying, yeah, yeah, totally, white girls talking and stuff like that, kind of annoying me, but I deal with it, you know, I deal with it, we're walking her to her car, right now I'm walking her to her car, alright, we stop, start talking to her, she's talking about meeting up with me the next day, guess what, we never met her about the day. And but let me not but let but let me not get too far ahead. All right, we talking and stuff, hugging and stuff like that. I hugged her, grab her body and stuff. Then the next thing you know, she's talking about she gotta go. She got a curfew. I wanted to chill in the car and talk to her. You know, this she get to know her personally. You know, but she wasn't going for that talk about she got a curfew. Guys, let me know what woman, what type of woman you dated or talked to. Twenty six years old got a curfew at eleven o'clock, and they live with their parents. 
Like, are you serious? You got a curfew at 11 o'clock and you're 26 years old and you're a financial advisor? What the hell, son? Like, how in the hell you got a curfew? So in my mind, I'm thinking like, okay, this girl tried to curry me, you know? She's trying to get off, you know? Like, did I make her uncomfortable, you know? And I think she said that. And I hugged her again, I grabbed the booty, you know, the booty didn't feel right, the booty felt nasty, the booty didn't feel like a nice booty, the booty felt meaty, the booty felt like some ground beef powder from my hand, didn't feel right, felt like some smuggy type stuff, you know, felt like a bean bag I was gripping, you know, it didn't feel right. Alright, man, I started the vlog as I was walking back to my car, the vlog didn't go up because I didn't like how the day went, it wasn't a real date. Uh, it didn't carry over, so I deleted the vlog, you know, you guys ain't gonna see that vlog. Alright guys, I got in my car, drove back home, hopped on Xbox, told the boys how the day was, you know. My boy Jamal, you know, he was like, yo, yo son, how the day was? I'm like, the day went good, you know, it went great. And talking about some good job, boy, uh, boosting me up, you know, talking good about me, first date. Uh, I said it went well, in my opinion it went well, but in this bitch mind, she was over here playing me for the money. So a couple of days later, she never responded back after I texted that morning. Texted said, hey, what's up? She never responded back. Then, I hit her up on Facebook talking about some, um, hey, what's up, uh, why you didn't message me back? She removed me as a friend after I messaged her on Facebook. Man, guys, it's just crazy, man. <sighs> I don't know, bro. Uh, I might not expose her, I might expose her. You guys probably already seen the pictures of her, you know, if I put pictures up. If you ever date a girl like that who only uses you, for money, you know, like, this girl literally used me to go out. This girl literally used me to go to the movies. It was like, felt play. My first time ever getting played. My first date ever. My first time ever getting that close to a girl. My first time ever doing stuff like that. And I got played for the first time. And it didn't feel right, you know. Uh, felt bad. Felt down. My money back and stuff like that. You don't deserve a good man if you're over here going to use me over some childish stuff. You could have literally just said, you could have you just said you wanted to be friends. You didn't have to say nothing like that. But you used me to go to a movies and stuff like that. I, I don't take that lightly, you know. I don't take being used lightly. I take that very personally. I'm the type of guy who will get in your face and whoop your ass if you ever try to use me, honestly. I'm not that type of guy who will be like, okay, I'll just let her slide. Ain't no slide with me. I want my money back. Honestly, and I will be coming for my money tomorrow, Friday. I told her I want my money back Friday, guys. Friday. I told her I want my money back and I will be coming to get it. She reported me and blocked me. So tomorrow, I'm going to hit her ass up with a call. Not with a call, but a text that I'm coming for my money. I'm going to see how she's going to react. That's still going to be funny as hell, bro. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, find the video and enjoy it, thumbs it up, subscribe to the channel, support the channel, trying to grow, guys. <sighs> I would never... Let a woman use me like that again. I promise you, words from Allah. I swear I'll never let a woman use me again, bro. Like, it, it was bad, you know. I thought I had something. I thought I had a girl I can get. I'm not a good looking guy. So I'm thinking she's a short, chubby girl with a muffin top, cute in the face. I thought I could get with her because no guy would ever go for a girl like this, short with a, with a nasty body. No guy would ever get with a girl like that. But me, I took a leap out to try to get with her, start my little dating life off, start my love life off. But guess what? God keep telling the dude, God keep telling me that it ain't for you. So, I'm going to start listening, not talk to any woman because I know I'll always end up getting played. So, yeah, man. Like I said before, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, share the video around the web. I love you guys and I'm out. Peace.